Hello and welcome to this video of the tutorial list about programming the ESP32 board in an easy way. Today we will see together how to send data to Firebase. For that you will need to have a Gmail account. In the beginning, we will create a new project. Now we will create a new real-time database. This is our database. Keep this window open, we will need it later. The resources category, you will need to download the Firebase library for the ESP32. Add it to the Arduino IDE. Now let's make our program. First, I will connect to the network. Every time you need to use a Firebase, you should call this block once. Put it after the connecting to the Wi-Fi. And this is how to get the host and the authentication text. To send any data, we will use this block. It accepts a parameter, uh, the type of the data, the name of the remote variable and the value. It will, it will return true if the data was sent, otherwise it will be false. In this program, I will send a random number between 0 and 100 to the variable data. Now let's upload our code and see the result. As you can see in the database, a slot was created for the data variable and it is being updated by the numbers sent by the ESP32. 
Now I will try to send some sensors data from a different type. Here I will create a kind of tree called the sensors that will contain different branches. The first one is a temperature. Now I will send the whole sensor. In the end, I will send a string message like hello just for testing. Now we are ready to upload the program. As you can see, the tree was created. I can check the data uh, inside. In the end, I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye!